Now we're going to do the word explode in Descript. So let's look at the simplest possible way to combine these letters. E, X, P, L, O, D, E. As you can see, we've used the exact original versions of every letter. But we got lots of ways to go with this. So let's start looking at our double letter combinations that we can use in here. First of all, we've got our EX. As you can see, you put the X inside of the E. Um, we've got our PL. Sorry, I've taken that off. Now, as we've talked about before, in the L, when you see this line down the middle, this is actually the word line. It's not necessary. This is the core component of the L, a dash on both sides. So what we can do is PL, as we've seen before. We've also seen PH. Just for reference, as you can see the difference, the L crosses, the H does not. This is where the H is in PH. This is H, this is H, this is L. Okay? Just keep that in mind. It's a little easy to confuse those at times. So we've got our PL. Um, we've got OD. OD can be combined like so. You could put the dash, but it's not necessary. It's necessary for the H. Now, we basically just had to pick one. And the most common letter between H and D is D. So D is not necessary to have the dash. And that's pretty much all we got here for double letter combinations. So if we used all three of those double letter combinations together, we would end up with something like this. E, X, T, L, O, D, E. Now, now that we're sitting at this point, we see there's even more combinations that weren't available to us before. Why? Because now we've created this EX, as you can see we brought these together, we've also now gained access to the EP combinations. So, what do we have for EP? This can be EP. Some people might ask why. Now, let's look at this quickly here. This is E, this is P. Some people ask, well, how do you know this is a P? This could be a Q or a U, or there's so many triangle shapes. Well, let's look at this quickly. Let's quickly review P, U, and Q, and how to tell the difference. This is P. Usually it has a bar at the top, where you can see that it's on the side of a vertical line. U is pretty evenly divided, and it's a triangle pointing down, and Q is like so. Now, when they connect the letters, if we connected this to an O above it, they would look like so. The P would look like this. The P has an extra option where it can be connected on top, and you can see the piece is missing. That's how we know it's a P. It couldn't be a U or a Q or anything else. So if we use that combination now in conjunction with what we've already got, we've got this. Now, we could put the O there, but we could also put the O here. And then we could put the D, and we can even put the E inside if we had had enough room. Well, we kind of did. That is still relatively clear. And now we can even twist it down. The P can be rotated and faced in any direction we want. So, we can end up with... Let's try to give a bit of a 3D effect to our crosses in here. Not very nice. I'm going to try that once more, just for aesthetic purposes. Quick circle. Not bad. So E, X. Let's kind of try to take it out of there. No. I changed my mind about that. Let's make it perfectly vertical. P, L, O, D, E. Not bad. Um, I'm kind of starting to see how you can make an explosion out of this. If you can try to make it look like it's coming up, maybe make these circles down here bigger. Um, You'll have to play with it, but you can see the word explode and how you can start to see maybe some kind of boom, boom, boom.